The Mobile Engine Construction Mobile Workflow App. Design apps and complex workflow solutions for your construction business on Mobile Engine Platform as a Service. This presentation shows one implementation example. Site managers allocate labor, plant assets, and transports to individual jobs activities on the construction site, as well as coordinate the inbound materials. Furthermore, the user can record the weather conditions for each workday. As a beginning step of the process, the user selects the site he is about to work on and clicks the Send button to confirm that this site is where they will begin work. The daily allocation process can now start. First, the user needs to define the job's activities that he would like to allocate resources to. Later, if a job is not applicable anymore, he can inactivate that job so it won't appear in the list. The user records a new job by selecting the job type and adding details. By clicking on the Save and Submit button, he can save this new activity. Now he can add resources to the activity. The structure and logic of allocation will be the same for all types of resources. Labor Allocation Click on the arrow to allocate each employee to jobs. With each resource allocation, the user selects the job and indicates what percentage of the resource's time was spent on that job. The sum of the job percentages needs to be equal to 100%, otherwise the user is prevented from submitting the forms. The user can flag an employee in the list by ticking a checkbox, indicating if there is some problem with that employee. There are four options at the bottom of this form. Flag will generate a report about the employee marked. The report can automatically be emailed to the HR administrator. Save records the allocations the user set so far. Save and Submit closes allocations for the current day. It is also possible to discard records. Similarly to labor allocation, in the case of plant, small plant, and transport allocation, the user selects the job and indicates the percentage of resources time spent on it. The app provides a function to record inbound materials too. On this form, the user can save the details of an inbound transport. By clicking on the camera icon, he can take and attach a photo of the receipt. It is possible to record several material deliveries at the same time. The user can also record weather conditions that may affect daily work. Here the user records temperature level and wind speed. By clicking on the arrow, he chooses one or more definitions that suit the current workday's weather conditions. He can also mark if the conditions have affected the work and then he can submit the form. The Overview form is an interactive management reporting tool implemented in order to achieve better control over costs. The user selects the construction site and sets the period of time that he is interested in. The system will show all the resources in their time, costs spent on each job. When clicking on the Report Generation button, the system generates a PDF report of this overview. This report can be downloaded from the back office, automatically emailed to the proper recipients, or transferred to other systems via system integration. The back office also provides functionality to check the activity of the site managers using their mobile devices at construction sites. On the incoming data menu, they can have a look at the raw data of forms submitted on sites, or they can even check the activity view that displays a summarizing crosstab of form submissions. 